Uh, yeah, Gigi, you're gonna have to move, I'm afraid. Gigi, bye. Can you move up? Can you move here? Come on, Gigi, please. I'm sorry. Okay, it's kind of off camera. Kind of. Here is the drawings that I did last night, and they were kind of for a TikTok. Go over to the TikTok, do you? Go over to the TikTok. Go over to the TikTok. That doesn't make any sense. If you want to see what these were about, it was kind of for a trend. These are the drawings that I'm going to colour. And this is the typical thing that I had problem saying before, but I now know it's Karandash. Thanks guys. Um, but I got these colours, the different colours. And if you don't know um, what these are, then go check out my old video where I looked at them, but I'll also tell you in this one. <laughs> They're water-soluble pastels. Wax pastels, not like pastels as in crumbly. They're like smooth, oily deliciousness. So I got these colors and I've been waiting to try them out with you guys. And I thought, yeah, um, even though these are kind of small details, maybe we can do like a wash over them of these. But I think it would be nice. And I don't know, they usually come with like a sticker inside, so I don't know, but look at these colors. <gasps> beautiful colors, beautiful colors. Look at that. Come on, focus. Okay, yeah, there they go. Absolutely love them already. Gigi, what do you think? Gigi, what do you think? Gigi, can I get your attention on these, please, sir? He says they're okay. They're just kind of okay. These are my old ones. They're not really old, they're less than a year, but you can see they're kind of all new colours, I think, I think this one is the same as that one. No, it's not. Coise blue, What's co what, what colour is this? A coise blue. So they're the same. <laughs> so that's the only same colour. Oh, ow! Biting! Biting! Why? Just don't you dare move me. It wasn't really a bite, it was more like a... Like a soft nibble, a warning, like, don't... Don't do this. So, I'm um, okay, Gigi, you can stay there in the frame, fine. Everyone can look at your fluff. Don't bite me again, that was rude. Okay, uh, what's this one called? Salmon Pink, very nice. If you can hear Chris in the background, that's because he's in the background. And there's nothing I can do about it, you know what I mean? Like I've asked, please, can you be quiet? It's just not happening. So the cool thing about these is that they go down like that, right? They're smooth and then you get some water and you can kind of just like pick up the color and just use them like that. You can do like a wash over these pencils, which would be quite nice, which I'm thinking about doing. Um, I can't really remember the colors of this. I took like, what I did is I downloaded the, I downloaded the images of these. Images of these? What am I saying? I downloaded the TikTok of these women and then I took a screenshot of what I wanted to draw. A little bit rude, but also they let you down, like people can turn off that option of downloading the, the TikTok. So it's kind of like they allow it. So I, in that sense, I think it's okay because, well, I'm not reusing it. I'm just taking inspiration of drawing them. So what's cool here, right? So she's got like a lovely fairy-ish dress but some of the patterns are like, oh, bye Gigi, thanks for all that. It's like a marbly effect, so I think it'd be really cool to just layer some thicker colors here. I'm gonna put my color here again, and then pick it up with water, and then just like, kind of layer it a bit, and then you get like a nice sort of wash of color. This dress is sort of more white and with like purple streaks, but you know, I can do what I like because it's it's my channel. Um, the wings are those like holographic style wings. I think I need a little bit of, I need a little bit of yellow. I will be using a little bit of yellow. So what I want to do is kind of reflect that. Can I mix these? Wouldn't that be nice? So you know holographic is kind of yellowy, greeny, and then it has a pink tinge. So let's see if we can show that um very very difficult thing to emulate but you can also what i do as well is i like mix it in the tin sometimes um it might not be like the right way to use these but it's the way that i enjoy also her skin is like a little bit pink i guess 
and her background is just like blue so it would be really nice to do a solid blue here to indicate a background not necessarily draw it all because I think it really grounds like the drawing when you have a bit of like color or something there to show that they are in a, a space maybe a little bit of blue on the wings as well just to show that they're a bit see-through don't really think I've given that holographic vibe but you know what can you do I really am actually enjoying just um what I did yesterday is I found a video of Taylor Swift dancing obviously on the era's tour and I just like did gesture drawing of her dancing and it was really good because ooh, I really think that gesture drawing is like a valuable skill and that we should all practice it sometimes because you really get down like the movements and maybe like the mannerisms of a character them is really good so yeah I really enjoyed that and it's on my TikTok <laughs> I know I keep talking about TikTok, I don't know why. Um, if I get to the 10,000 followers, but then I think you need like a certain amount of views, so I don't even think it matters, but I'm, I'm at like 8,900 followers, something like that. And I was like, oh, once I get to 10,000, I can apply for the partnership program and actually maybe like make a little bit of extra, like nothing probably. But still, worth it, a little bit of money, um, probably like $10 a month or something for hours of work, but still. Um, but yeah, like, that's what I was thinking. This dress is really cute because that was a real side note, wasn't it? Uh, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, there's a TikTok of that on my TikTok. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, this lady has like roses all over her dress and I just realized that I didn't even like finish drawing them So we're gonna just do a few Like this because it's white and then there's like roses Like this And uh, this lady was uh, saying this trend but with um, My style that is 70 years out of style or something so she's got like kind of Marilyn Monroe-esque energy I guess yeah it's super cute um can I put a little bit of water on those to make them a little bit like more fun or is it just gonna be like a blob of color mm, a little bit a little bit blobby but <laughs> a bit blobby anyway I really think it's nice to just hint at color sometimes as well if you just want to get like a sketch down quickly of someone or say like your outside drawing then it can be nice to just have these in your bag and just quickly pull them out lay down a color maybe do some water like brush strokes over the top, you know, depends if you have water with you, I guess. Um, and a brush, but you could get one of those like, watery, you know those ones I'm talking about, the brush pens that have like water in them. It would be good to just do quickly gesture drawings of people outside. Yeah, so I'm back into that. I'm kind of into the idea of quick sketches and taking down details of people. I think I went into her hair a bit, so can I scratch that off? No, it's fine. Maybe I can pick up the colour. <clears throat> but yeah, because um, working on the next comic, I was really like, I really want to get like different characters in this uh, comic that are just clear cut characters, if that makes sense. Not just like a drawing of a person, but you can see their mannerisms and maybe more like a caricature of a person rather than I don't know 
kind of waffling on, but yeah, it's it's good to keep that skill up, I guess. But I really like these Caran Ash, just really fun to use. <laughs> um, I don't know, they're just so like, if you've never used them before, they are just like really nice. I really want to pick up that colour, can I use this tissue to get the colour out of her hair, or is it too late? Probably too late. Okay, fine. Well, maybe if I just put blonde in. Blonde or bright yellow? Bright yellow, I guess. And there's red there. Mm. And it kind of picked up some of the drawing. Okay, well, that's not great. You've got to work with it then if it's going to fail. Okay, so picked up some of the color and I'm just going to use it within the image a little bit to indicate shadows because. We made a mistake and I put it on her hair by accident, so we're just going to pretend that she's in like a really shady spot. And we're going to make it work. Somehow. The blues are the shadow. It's kind of interesting. I do like how loose you can be with these, like just a wash of colour, some really nice textures. Obviously, like, this area is a bit of a mistake, but maybe I can go back in with, like, a black pencil and kind of bring the details more out. Let's see. Okay, this girl had, like, a red skirt on, but I really want to make it pink because of my colour palette that I have here. And I think it will be really cute. I think she said that these are clothes from her company that she makes. Which is awesome. Pretty sick. Um, <laughs> yes, I said sick. What? What are you going to do about it? There we go. And I think I want to keep it just like, don't wet that. Just keep it as that texture. She also had a black top on, but I think I'm going to make it this dark blue again because of the colour palette that I'm working with. And I'm going to use water for that because I can. The paper, or the sketchbook that I'm using isn't very uh, water absorbent. But I kind of like it, kind of like that as well. Because it leaves like weird it leaves like weird textures where the water isn't quite absorbed but I think it looks cool just gonna yeah indicate a background again I don't know what I can use for her hair because she was actually brunette but maybe I can pretend that she had red hair it doesn't quite work, but it it's an interesting concept to use this pencil and then just like a wash of colour over top. Maybe if the, the pencil was more dark, it would be more interesting, but I think there's something like really nice about it. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think there's something ethereal about the way that they're kind of working together so i'm just gonna like pretend that her dress is blue even though it's white um oh felt weird i touched that and i was like Ugh, sensory issues <laughs> so like when you put down a line you can see that it stays there but you can get like a really beautiful wash of color And I really think that um, it looks like watercolour, kind of basically is. And I always think that just pencil and watercolour always look so beautiful together. This looks kind of a nice vibe. Just make her 
cheeks pink and then I'm going to like spread the colour around with some water. So I'm pressing lightly. I'm going to do it for her as well. So then when I go to put water, hopefully it won't stay in that spot. I could also have just transferred but anyway. Yeah, so as per my last video on these, I still really like the way that they look. I'm sorry if you can hear my cats play with a toy. Can't stop them, they're kittens. Really enjoy how you can just like kind of pick up colour and keep working with them. I just think it's so cool. I really like the idea of doing black pencil over the top though as well. I'm not sure because I do like the way that it looks with just the normal pencil underneath. It's just such an interesting vibe. But I want to do more experimenting with these, I guess. So yeah, I really like them. Um, that's Zelda. Zelda! -sh. I really like them and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Very short, just chatty video. Um, please give me a like and a comment or let me know if you like these, which ones you prefer. I guess this is like sort of the base set and then this is more a pastel artistic set that you could just use so yeah super nice and well i hope to see you guys next time bye